We are at Oatley Park, home ground of All Saints Oatley West, and we're joined by their president, Jeremy Babb. Hi, Jeremy. Morning, how are you? Well, thank you. Um, different clubs have been uh, affected in different ways during the COVID-19 situation. Um, how have All Saints come out looking at the other end? We've come out uh, quite well. We've had uh, minimum deregistrations, which has been fantastic. I think some of those who have deregistered have actually re-registered, which is even better. Um, we have lost a few teams along the way with a, you know, a few critical numbers going. Mm -hmm. um, we, we were really looking forward to having an All-AJ squad again this year, but we just lost too many numbers out of that squad, so they've had to drop back to All-AJ Bs, which is okay. a bit disappointing, mm -hmm. but you know these things happen and we'll look forward to next year and, uh, and rebuild this year. Um, a lot of new amenities have come online in the St George District over recent times. Fantastic for the clubs. Um, Oatley Park have been the recipients of a new surface last year yes. and now um, a new amenities block on its way as well. Yeah, it's fantastic. We've, uh, we've had the old uh, pavilion up there. I think it's, I don't know how long it's been there, since the 50s. Uh, but it's, it's fantastic to get the new, the new club area up there. Um, new change rooms, new canteen new outside sitting area. Um, it gives us a focal, focal point for our presentation days where we can actually, we'll have a step up so, so mm -hmm. you know, the kids can come up and get their trophies on that step, uh, which is fantastic. So yeah, everything that the council and SGFA have done here has been you know, very well done. The field's looking very good, best it's looked in years. So yes, yeah, we're happy. definitely, definitely. It's uh, moving in the right direction. Yeah. Female football has uh, seen a recent explosion over, over the recent times. Um, how are All Saints placed in that at the moment? Yeah, we're going really well. We've got uh, quite a few. We've got one definitely one under sixes girls team, um, some under nines, and then we've got up to under 11s and 12s, and a, four, a 13s team, and then we've got an under 17 girls team and two all-age women's teams. So, you know, for a small club, I think that's quite a few uh, women's teams. Very good and, representation. And, you know, yeah. even even better for them is the new uh, facilities block. It gives them change rooms and, you know, somewhere to get away from, from everybody. That, that's great. been a big thing. That, that's yeah. been the feedback for female football to have designated, uh, you know, dressing <laughs> yes. uh, rooms and uh, just gives them a, a little bit more um, protection in that area. Um, as uh, president of All Saints, uh, Jeremy, um, a gut feel on who you think, uh, which teams will do well in your club in the upcoming season? So, <clears throat> look, based on last year's results, the All Age Bs have won it two years in a row, which is why we were excited to get them back into All Age As. Mm. So I think they'll be strong again. Um, our All Age Cs, you know, who were in the grand final last year and were very unlucky, uh, will probably, you know, place well again. Uh, I think one of our under 21s teams, who's actually now going to play in the All Age Ds, will do quite well. Uh, the women's All Age Women's A's team, uh, which is a new team to the club, I, we're expecting that they'll do quite well. Um, and again, the, I think it's the 13 girls. Uh, they were in the grand final last year, and we expect you know good things from them again this year as well. So. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, what's the mood like being in the club now? The training started. Everybody looking forward to getting back? Yes, everybody's loving being back at training. Uh, the, the, the biggest challenge that we've had during the COVID limitations is the amount of teams that want to get on the park. You know, so we've had to allocate everyone a one hour slot. With all slot. the protocols, yeah. Yeah, one hour slot and all the protocols. And uh, mm. it, it's been tricky, but, you know, parents have been really accommodating. Every All the kids have turned up. All the ad adult teams have turned up. The biggest challenge has actually been to get them stopping tackling each other. <laughs> Remember the it, it only comes naturally, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, right? absolutely. So yeah. That's the hardest thing. Yeah. Yeah, when the ball's there to be won, <laughs> it's, they don't think about social distancing. They're about, about winning the ball. Well, Jeremy, thanks very much for your time here today. Uh, on behalf of the St George Football Association, we wish All Saints, Oatley West, all the best in season 2020. Thank you very much. Cheers, Jeremy. Tell See you later. Bye.